Let me greet all those who agree that indeed our democracy to work, we need to hold the executive accountable. People of South Africa, let me begin by extending our deepest gratitude for the massive support shown for the national shutdown, which was held on the 20th of March, 2023. The 20th of March marked one of the greatest national demonstrations post-1994, wherein thousands of our people registered their dissatisfaction of load shedding, unemployment, high levels of crime, gender-based violence, and lack of service delivery. Many of you affirmed the authority of the EFF to be superior to that of the President of South Africa and his entire cabinet combined by partaking in the shutdown because you cannot trust anything he and his government says. A majority of business remained closed, taxi ranks and buses were empty, no trains or trucks were moving on the day and even load shedding was suspended due to low level of electricity demand, proving that major industries that use electricity were not operational. The success and moral correctness of the national shutdown is proven by the fact that no one, not the state or the media, was able to dispute the logic for the national shutdown and they all chose to attempt to divert and dilute its message by creating a myth of anarchy and destruction. We salute you for your support and we salute you, all protesters, for their discipline and commitment to peaceful protest. We remain resolute on our demand for Mr. Sir Ramaphosa to resign as the President of South Africa and our people want reliable supply of electricity for their businesses, livelihoods and for the economy to survive. The economic freedom fighters proved once more who is in charge in this country. When you said to business, is business as usual, open your shops, I said close. They closed. I'm in charge. I've got you by scrotum. There's nothing you can do, nothing. All of you combined. You can scream anyhow you want. Once more, I demonstrated to you black opposition, a white opposition with the ruling party combined. I'm in charge. And I want that to sink. You will tweet every day. You will call press conference every day. You will bring soldiers and police because the men in charge said it shut down South Africa and it was shut down. Whether you like it or not, in your cocoons, you are admitting that when the president speaks, that is a motion of no confidence, by the way. When the president speaks and says, open, I will protect you, they say, we can't trust you. They closed. Even this one of the dogs ran around everywhere saying, open, open, I will protect you. But uh, uh, when, uh, you never protect us any day. Why would you protect us today? They never listened to him. They closed. This one's ran to court and said, no, don't close. We have got an order, imaginary order. Cape Town, there won't be anything. Don't close. We're in charge here. Cape Town is ours. Cape Town is white. They can't do anything in the white area. They said to them, the business of Cape Town, we can't trust you. They closed.